think we have seen a tsunami of new uh, evidence in CLL. First of all, I think uh, from every meeting to the next meeting, we have a better understanding of CLI. So I think we have learned at this meeting, I just pick the Landau talk, that subclones in CLI are very important. Now we understand that there might be different kinetics of uh, relapsing CLI, so as we can even detect, maybe in the future we can individualize the, the length of treatment, whether the patient gets four or six cycles, uh, how intensive a maintenance has to be and things like this. So this is, I think, one vision out of the pathophysiology of CLR. Um, then, of course, we have seen um, kinase inhibitors. There are two, three kits on the block we already know from clinical trials, but uh, we, we even try to be smarter than nature, so we are not combining these kinase inhibitors. So the future trials, not only of the German CLR study group, but uh, also in the States, in the UK, everywhere in the world. People are uh, combining these, uh, these things, kinase inhibitors, together with, with a BCL2 inhibitor, uh, maybe also an, an anti-CD20 or anti-CD19 antibody, another interesting uh, route of investigation. And um, also the immunotherapy comes into play again. It's not the simple vaccine strategy. I think we, we know this failed. But uh, now we are trying to release breaks uh, of immunology again. So by using checkpoint inhibitors, maybe even to combine them with other immune simulatory drugs like imits. So this might be also a new avenue in CLL research.